Bludgeon25 here playing FSX once again. Today, we'll be flying, you know, as per usual at this point, a PMDG 777 freighter. This time from Wuhan, China to Hong Kong, Kai Tak. Oh, yeah! However, I kind of have to trick the, uh, the FMC. Alright, so, uh, shift, I, I, I actually start the engines, or, you know, begin starting the engines, so, start, and then shift, shift, P2, alright, push back. Let's begin. Oh, I should probably turn the. And also set one flaps five, one, five, fifteen. We have the flap set to fifteen. Just because I'm a bit more nervous, I don't really trust this that much. Oh, damn it! It's the other way. Let's top push back. Shift. P one then. Yeah, it was one. Right, so that engine's online. So let's get the other engine online. I wonder, does it start spinning immediately? Yeah, it does have it. Does help if the engine has fuel flow. So set fuel flow and oh, almost forgot. Like I always do, almost. Flight director, Elnav, Vnav. Have both flight directors on them. So you have the GE90s powering up. So we're going to take off in that direction. That's when we actually landed on. You can see a CRJ A321 on the caravan there. A grand caravan. Yeah, Kai Tak, of course, for those of you who aren't familiar, is Hong Kong's old airport. It's being replaced with a Czech Lapcock. That's what it's called. All right. This was a classroom I'd expect to hear giggles. All right. Where's the thing? Here's the thing. Off. So right, stop parking brake set. Oh, I didn't set the parking brakes. Right, uh, let's get rolling to the runway. Like Kai Tak again for people who aren't that familiar with aviation. But if you're not familiar with aviation, you probably wouldn't be watching a a forty minute long FSX video. I'm saying forty minute because that's the approximate length of one of these. Because I don't know the length. I'm mean, just taking off. But, uh, Kaitak is simultaneously loved and hated because of its approach for Runway 13, which is... And honestly, that's the only approach I've ever seen into Kaitak. I've never seen any other approach. I've never seen the opposite side approach. Thing, and that's probably because you really can't take off on... What's Runway 13? I'm not sure what the one that's opposite to 13 is. But in one three, you had to approach. There was a checkerboard target, and then make a forty, I think like a forty-eight degree turn. You'll see that. You'll see at the landing. And straighten up. Straighten up and fly right. Right, then we'll turn left here. You can, like, here you can get a good sense of scale on these. The engines are barely over the taxiways. And the gear do take up a fair portion of the taxiway. See, I, I'm being extremely careful to make sure the wheels don't come off the taxiway. But you can see this airport is barely large enough to handle one of these aircraft. Yeah, you can see this is extremely short compared to some other runways. Well, hang on, maybe maybe Sochi was shorter, but it took off. Well, I'm I'm not sure, which is why I'm 
I'm not willing to take the chance. Yeah, you can see this is just a default FSX airport, nothing special. However, Kaitak, I've got uh, the fly tamper scenery, which makes it look amazing. I'm actually curious as to whether we'll get to see... Oh, wait. I think this is... No, I'm curious as to whether uh, the Kowloon Wall City is still modeled, but I think it isn't, because the Kowloon Wall City was directly under the approach path to Kai Tak, which is why it only got 14 stories tall. Again, if you don't know what the what the Kowloon Wall City is, I'd suggest watching a... I almost said Veritasium. No, it's a... 32. Or, well, it's a play on words for 42, but it's... Thoughty too. That's how it's spelled. T h o u g h t y two. He made a pr he made a brilliant video on it. And no, I'm not. I'm in no way connected to him. Yeah, he does have one island over, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to make this turn properly without you know the gear going off. Well, I could if I was going more slowly, but you know, time is of the essence. Because this is a cargo run. Not sure what you'd be transporting. Well, this is a cargo tour. So, not sure what you'd be transporting from Wuhan to Hong Kong. I'm saying Hong Kong, not specifically Kai Tak. Kai Tak, I think, was. Um, stayed in operation for a few years after, after the final passenger flight flew out. And begin takeoff roll. Power set. Oh yeah. Taxi lights. Off. Strobe lights. On. Ding. Ding ding. There you go. <laughs> oh crap. And the thing I actually don't have auto brakes set, so uh Wait. Okay, I thought the flaps were coming up and I was like, that's not good. Right. Auto brake set to rejected takeoff. Yeah, th that's the thing that scares me. Is it thinks that at this point we could still stop if we needed to. All right, VR rotate. There we go. Autopilot on. Gear up because positive rate. So you can see the gear coming up there. Wait, I'm not sure why I just pressed it. Flaps back to five. Oh yep, yeah. yep, nearly forgot. Thank goodness I didn't. Ding. No, not two two five, two four zero. That I have it set to two four zero for those of you who aren't aware. Because you cannot be going faster than two hundred and fifty knots below ten thousand feet. Okay, flaps one. That is basically just the slats. The slats are the little, the things at the front. All right. Cut. Uh, no, 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 no. Zoom out. Zoom out. So you can see we're making a turn. So ground speed is 245, apparently. Yeah, the difference between ground... Did I pull the flaps up all together? I think I'll pull the flaps up all together. The difference between ground speed and air speed can be quite drastic, because ground speed is, you know, the speed you're going relative to the ground, whereas air speed, which is the one most commonly used, is how fast you're going relative to the air around you. Air speed is, used, is mostly used, because in a plane, you know, it doesn't really matter if you're going, say... 300 knots over the ground if, you know, you're about to, if you, if, you know, compared to the airspeed you're about to stall out. You know, you don't gain more lift if you're going faster above the ground but slower in the air. Quite often, the ground speed is quicker than the airspeed. You can see ground speed is 250, whereas we're at 240. But the airspeed can't exceed 250, not the ground speed. And you can see Wuhan, I think it's like Tianxia, Tianxia or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to pause the video here and I'll see you guys when we begin our approach into Kai Tak, which is certainly going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll see you then. It's actually going to be less than an hour for now. Or maybe two. Huh. See you then. Okay, guys, we're uh, sort of approaching Kai Tak. I kind of uh, miscalculated, shall we say. 
I overshot the top of the scent, so I've been circling around. I mean, circling above uh, basically Chucklap Cock here. And I'm going to continue circling until I'm at a sufficiently low altitude. And just retract the spoilers here. Reduce the rate of descent. If you look over there, you can see Macau International Airport, which, uh, yeah, that's the runway. Those are taxiways. Just, just so you get an idea. And also, yeah, that's Kaita kind of there. Ish. No, it's a bit further. Well, I'm. Right, landing lights on because we're below 10,000. So ding, ding, ding. And I think set speed to 230. But we're still uh, too close, so. So we're going to. If not do a full circle, we're going to kind of turn and then swoop back. Kinda. You know? You know what I'm saying? No. No one knows what I'm saying. Right, spoiler deploy. Oh, hey, what's that? A 7 4. F I thought it would be a 7 3, in all honesty. Well, there's three of them. I think this is the one we saw. Well, no, actually. Well, actually, yeah. Because there, there's Macau. And now back to 2 2. Fast 1. 2 2 0. Not two one eight, right? Two two zero. Should I attempt going to uh Kaitak? No, I think I'll do another another full circle. Just gonna let that settle itself out to make sure that I don't overshoot the turn. Right, flaps five by the way. Yeah, at this point, I think it's just going to continue the left hand turn. Okay, 210. Not 203, 210. So you can see the flaps are going down there. I'm now realizing those mountains may be a problem. Or increase vertical speed, actually. So, or decrease. Whatever you say when you're. Reduce vertical... No, that... Increase... Vertical speed downwards. Yeah? Yeah. I think I'm just going to say screw it and go to 150 for approach. Just remember, this is Kai Tak. This approach is very, uh... I say difficult would be a bloody understatement. Yeah, mate, if you could just, if you could just, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, 150, spoilers are extended. Right, uh, flaps 15. See, we're going to level off roughly above a uh, checklap cock. Yeah, I'm really hoping landing isn't going to be too hard. But then again, this is a cargo flight. The passengers aren't certainly not going to be complaining. And it's a bit foggy. Right, so we're going to level off over... Yeah, that, that's, that, that, that's going to be fine. Yeah... I I'm not going to turn the autopilot off just yet. I'm not going to... And I'm not going to pull up the flaps either. Uh, so I have no choice but to do this. Because you can see your speed is building for some reason. Don't know why. Yeah, the throttles are set to idle. Right, uh. 
Spoilers retract. Spoilers extend. Uh, also, yeah, at this point, I'm kind of going to say gear down. Full flaps and just kind of screw it. F A F A F A is full flaps. Anyway, gear down. Oh, it's raining. Configure gear. What? Do not have gear down. Oh, gears down. And just be safe. I'm going to turn the storm lights on. And the windscreen wipers. I think we're trying. Oh my. Oh god, the lag. Oh, if I just drops now. Right. Autopilot disconnect. Yeah. Why are we turning, though? Oh god, yeah. Oh, come on. Trim up, man. Yeah, this is going to be extremely harsh on me, trust me. I've done this before. I'm going to try to actually... Wait a second. Yeah, no, that's that's not where Kaitak is located, though. Yeah, we're, we're below the height of those mountains. Just trim the bloody hell up, man. Our plane. Yeah, see, even that's better because I have a bit of an idea as to where things are. Or not. Shift A. A. I want to see where... I there you go. I'm like, I want to see my aircraft. Oh yeah, also, auto brake, max. We want those auto brakes to be on full power when we're coming into Kai Tak, trust me. I'm speaking out of experience, Kai Tak is a pain. Well then, I am coming in a bit too low, but really... Well, th this is going to be... Interesting, shall we say. Whoa. Just look up any kite attack approach, you'll see what I mean. Floating houses. How lovely. So you can see this is kind of you can see the scenery of Fly Tampa beginning kind of there when you can see the building. Whoa. You see the lag also makes the pain because you know usually I just turn on auto land or approach and that gets me you know aligned with the runway. But kite attack, it had to be done manually because the autopilot there was no autopilot able to do that. Come on, man, where? Really, you... Yeah, terrain warning. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate, don't worry, this is Kai Tak, this is normal. <laughs> You're too close to the ground, this is Kai Tak. It's supposed to be like this. And some vehicles moving there. You can see some buildings there. I'm trying to spot Kai Tak. There's a turn here. I is that? I can't see the kind of docky bit where Kai Tak is. It's a bit further on though, and I need to dip the bloody nose down now. No. I just screw it. External. Right. Yeah, mate. Just kind of eh. Just kind of eh. A brilliant way of describing things. Right, you can see here, we're extremely close to the tops of those buildings. Now, the Kowloon Wall City definitely isn't here. There's Kai Tak. Just... Hmm. Where's the airport? There it is! <laughs> yeah, uh, some passengers claim that during their landings at Kai Tak, they could see the flickering of TVs in people's window. Z. Window. Z. Right, mate. Uh, speed should be fine. Auto throttle disconnect. I said auto throttle disconnect. Now, oh, Christ on a bike, you're not gonna, you're not gonna maintain speed, are you? Right. I kind of have to try to get a lot. Okay, guys. Uh, Bandicam stopped recording because I opened the free version yet again. Right. Cut the engines. We're idling our way in.
Yeah, you can see why this was uh, simultaneously loved and hated. It was loved because it's absolutely bloody amazingly fun doing this. And it was hated because, you know, it's quite dangerous. Like, you can just... Flare. Now reverse. Reverse. Break. Spoiler. Reverse. And we're da Holy crap. I did this manually. Now, I'm not surprised that I landed at Kaitak manually now. I'm surprised that I landed in Kaitak manually that close to the bloody center line. And it flaps up. Right, we're going to turn around here and taxi back and taxi to one of the cargo gates, which would be one of those Cathay Pacific aircraft. Are. Please note, all of these aircraft are 747s. I'm not even going to call them AI aircraft. Right. I'm going to turn the what? Oh, no, actually, I'm keeping the white problem because it's raining. Oh, yeah. What? There's no better way to be landing at one of the most dangerous airports in the world. Well, formerly, this no longer exists. It was, it was closed. And it's now cruise room. And there is a park, I think, at the end of the runway there. As I said, I have never seen any approaches coming in from that side. Everyone I have seen was from that side. There was even a video of a. There is even a video of a Concorde approaching Kaitak, which is a uh, certainly interesting. Knowing that the air that aircraft was uh, also known to be unstable at uh, approach speeds and had to have quite a high angle of attack. Now, high angle of attack combined with high, with a you know quite aggressive turn. It looks pretty amazing. I'll see if I can get rid of that of that checkerboard though. Seriously, I'm taxiing. Landing taxi on strobe off ding ding ding. I said ding ding. There we go. Tell <laughs> right, Yeah. So you can see uh, there are some uh, breakwaters there to stop, you know, this area is prone to hurricanes, so to stop hurricanes kind of splashing up into this bay and hitting the aircraft. As you can see, around that taxiway there, has this kind of raised bits. This was uh, originally set up by the British, when Hong Kong was still a part of Britain, you know, now it's part of China. I'm pretty sure some people can, you know, name some of these landmarks that are in Hong Kong, however, I have not been to Hong Kong. Oh, quick question, is the checkerboard still there, or did they get rid of it? For some reason, the aircraft's kind of going that way. But it's an extremely small amount. It's something I can easily correct. You can see multiple Cathay aircraft. There's a Japan Airlines one. More Cathay. I think a Malaysian one. I definitely saw some uh, KLM aircraft there. KLM did operate flights from Amsterdam to uh, Hong Kong. Holding point. I'm presuming that means you stop there if there is an aircraft taxiing along here. Yeah, I'm being extremely careful doing this turn. Because, you know, normally it's like, oh, you missed the turn, that's okay, you know, you're just going to be on land. Not here, though. <laughs> oh, this is simultaneously hor This is simultaneously beautiful and horrifying. Oh, yeah. Should probably get the APU up and running. Come on. Yeah, not not a good time to be, to have the eyes off the taxi. Yeah, you can see the little thing opening up at the back to get, I'm presuming, air into the APU. These are all 747-400s. You can see how close in size the, uh, like, I think the, tr the 777s is longer and maybe a bit wider as well. Fun fact, the 747 was the first uh, wide body ever built. The more you know... I'm never going to do that again. Until I forget that I said that, and we'll proceed to do it again in probably the next video. So yeah, it kind of cut because free version of Bandicam. The more you know... Right, uh, get ready to park now.
yeah, nearly. We want to be almost touching our nose to the fence. But I'm presuming this would be a cargo area, just just from how far away it is from the terminal. Alright, shut her down. Shut her down. I'm going to also open the door, because that's something I've not done. Right, what? Uh, think. Think? Hopefully the APU is, has got enough power at this point to keep the aircraft going. Return. Dual jetway plugs. Huh. Return. I said return. Are you denied? Not old fashioned shifty. Which door is that open? Right, that opens that door. Shift E2. What does that open? Shift E3. Wait a minute, nothing? No, I'm just open shift E3. I'm just opening and closing that door. Oh, still nothing, oh, still no response. No, return. Yeah, return. Menu. Nope, it's dead. Alright. So no, you can't see the cargo door open. Yeah, because that was a flight from Wuhan to Kai Tak. With a Lufthansa Cargo 779 button. 25, goodbye.